Hi, this is my review of the Dreamy L10 Ultra after having used it for about a month now. First, the differences from the somewhat more expensive L10S Ultra aren't extreme in any way. What you do miss out on though is the live AI front camera that both helps with navigation and also makes it possible to view exactly what the robot is seeing but from your phone. The normal L10 also lacks an automated indicator for when the dust bag in the base station is full, so you will have to keep an eye out on it yourself. App-wise, the L10S also has support for four floors when it comes to multi-floor maps, whereas the L10 instead supports supports a maximum of three floors. Other than that though, they're basically the same. Unpacking and starting up the Dreamy L10 Ultra is surprisingly easy and the amount of parts are surprisingly few. Plug in the dust rotation thingy and the mopping pads onto the robot and then install the dust bag in the base station and fill up the clear water tank container and that's it. Everything is then controlled through the Dream Home app. Here my experience has been okay but if you haven't used a robot vacuum cleaner before you might want to really click around in the app to find out exactly how to do all types of cleaning and to get to all the settings. As the app is right now it is fine but it could definitely use some more logic in the actual layout. So what can the L10 Ultra actually do? Well, most things actually. It can of course vacuum with a suction power of 5300 pascal, which is actually quite impressive. The robot can also use its rotating mop pads to clean the floor even more. The whole process is pretty automated. Once a map of the household is created by the robot, you can then set it to either vacuum or mop or both, whereupon the robot from that point is basically completely on its own. When the robot's own water tank is empty of clean water, it automatically returns to the base station to empty the dirty water and refill it with fresh water, whereupon it continues its cleaning duties. After a cleaning session is finished, it also automatically empties both any remaining dirty water and its own built-in dust box into the bag in the base station. And to finish things off, it then also cleans and dries the mop heads. So basically all you have to do in terms of manual labor is to empty the dirty water and refill the fresh water tank every once in a while. So what's the actual cleaning results like? Well, in my opinion, the L10 Ultra has three obstacles it struggles a little with. The first one is cords that have been left lying on the floor. These can sometimes get tangled up in the mop pads and halt the cleaning process. The other one is lighter rugs that has a tendency of sometimes getting folded up by the robot while traveling over the edges of them. And the third obstacle is larger pieces of dirt like dried foods, etc. that can sometimes, but far from all times, have a little trouble traveling into the vacuum cleaner's suction pump. Apart from this though, I would say that the L10 Ultra does a fantastic job cleaning floors and especially the mop function does a really great job. When it comes to navigating around chairs and other obstacles, it performs good and in my testing it has never once got stuck or nestled in between table legs and such. For thresholds, the robot has no issues whatsoever with my relatively short ones at about one centimeter. However, I can imagine bigger ones being a little bit more challenging. The robot also handles thicker carpets really well and there is a built-in function to increase the suction power when the robot takes a mat underneath it. Better life is specified to around 160 minutes when mopping and vacuuming in the quiet mode, something that seems to be relatively correct. I get around 40% battery left after cleaning my 90-ish square meters apart with the section on normal. Noise-wise, the robot is very, very quiet on the quiet mode, and even on the normal mode you can easily hold a conversation while the robot vacuums and mops under the table. So bottom line, I really do like the Dreamy L10 Ultra, and even though the price tag of roughly 900 US dollars is high, considering all the automated functionality and the great suction power and great mopping you get for the price, I'll still say that the L10 Ultra is actually a pretty price-worthy alternative, at least looking at what's out there right now in terms of robot vacuums. And that is my take on the Dreamy L10 Ultra. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, bye!